let us consider a body whose mass equal to m and is at its certain height from the ground it is not having any initial velocity and it is a freely falling body so we would like to verify the law of conservation of energy for a freely falling body what do you mean by a freely falling body its initial velocity is equal to zero and it is dropped from a certain height vertically downwards that is called like a freely falling body so the freely falling bo- st- falling body starts from that point and it reach the ground i would like to consider three different positions and at each position i would like to calculate the total energy of a system let the first position is the starting position itself at the maximum height the second position is at a certain height from that high, from that maximum height let that certain height equal to h so if i assume the total height as capital h the body b is at a height of h minus h from the ground and the third position is equal to when it has just reached the ground at these three positions i would like to calculate the total energies of the system let us start at point a that is from where the journey has started that is at the maximum height potential energy is mg h because we are assuming that the total height from where it is started is nothing but equal to h kinetic energy is it is not having any velocity at that point so half m zero square so kinetic energy equal to zero total mechanical energy is sum of potential energy and kinetic energy and its value is by adding these two nothing but equal to mgh that is at the point a now i would like to consider point b somewhere in the journey at point b what is the total energy i want to calculate we know though its initial velocity equal to zero by the time it has reaches a point b it will acquire some velocity so it will have both potential and the kinetic energy at the point b potential energy is mg h where h is the height of the body not from the sky but from the ground from the reference point from the reference point it is having height of h minus h potential energy is always measured from the ground so potential energy is mg capital h minus mg small h simultaneously at that point it is having kinetic energy also kinetic energy formula is half m v1 square but i want to write this v1 also in terms of the height h so if you consider the points a and b between these two points i want to write the equation equation of motion that we have learned that v square minus u square equal to 2as by the time it has reached the point b it has acquired a velocity v1 square u1 square equal to 0 a is plus acceleration due to gravity because it is coming downwards its acceleration is treated like positive acceleration due to gravity s is equal to h therefore i can write v1 square as 2gh substituting this value in kinetic energy equation we can write in equation number 1 from equation number 1 kinetic energy is half m in the place of v1 square i can write 2gh that's nothing but equal to mg small h therefore i know the equation for kinetic energy i know the equation for potential energy now i can write the total energy of the system at the point b equal to again potential energy at the point b and the kinetic energy at the point b let us just add both the values of potential and uh, kinetic energy see 
So, the total energy is potential energy is as we have proved mg capital H minus mg small h. Kinetic energy in terms of the heights we have proved as mg small h. So, we can cancel this mg h s small h s. So, the total energy at the point B is also equal to mg h. Look at this, we have proved that the total energy at the point A is mg h. Even the total energy at the point B is also mg h. Let us try the third point when it has reached the ground at point C that is when it has just strike in the ground. By this time it has reached the ground it, it will acquire some velocity let that velocity equal to V2. Being that point C itself is the reference point potential energy body is at the reference point itself height equal to 0 potential energy is 0. We can write kinetic energy as half m let it has acquired a velocity v2 square but I want to express this v also in terms of h because all the other terms are in terms of h therefore between the points a and c again I will write a formula v square minus v square equal to 2 a s v square at the point uh, c is v2 square starting from ground starting from initial velocity 0 g what is the total distance covered is nothing but equal to capital H total height so v2 square equal to 2 g h that implies kinetic energy equal to half m in the place of v2 square I can write 2 g h itself so let us identify what is happening then kinetic energy equal to mg capital H itself therefore total energy at the point C is potential energy plus kinetic energy potential energy is 0 kinetic energy in terms of the height is mg H therefore total energy at the point C is also equal to mg H now if you notice at the point A total energy is mg H at the point B the total energy is nothing but mg h. At the point C also the total energy equal to mg h. So from all this we can conclude that total energy of the system at all points is constant or same. This is called law of conservation of energy that energy is neither created nor destroyed. It just converts from one format to another format but the total mechanical energy of a system always remains constant provided there is no loss of energy in any of the formats.